So let's start by a little background about Heidi Roizen. She's a successful entrepreneur, corporate executive, corporate director, venture capitalist, and educator. Heidi Roizen is a prime example of a very successful manager of her social network throughout her entire career. Her first job was at a company called Tandem. A friend in the company actually gave her the phone number for the hiring manager. She called and they hit it off instantly, which resulted in her getting a job. That was just the, the first example of Heidi using her social network effectively. She left Tandem to work with her brother to start a software company called TeaMaker. To build awareness for the product, she began building relationships with members of the press just to get the word out about the product. She attended numerous trade shows and conferences to meet more people. She joined the board of the Software Publishers Association and even became the president of that organization. This allowed her the opportunity to meet industry leaders. She also met and befriended lesser known people in the industry who went on to become leaders in the tech industry years later. She then left to work for Apple. And her primary job was to improve relations with software developers because at the time, Apple was losing a lot of money and the developers weren't happy. And from her prior positions and her extensive social network, she was a recognized voice within the developer community already. And the work that she did contributed to the success of Apple today. She ended up leaving Apple to become a mentor capitalist. It's a term she created herself. She used her skills and industry contacts to help different startup companies, and she frequently helped people find new career opportunities. Uh, one of the quotes that I really liked from the case study said, while other people use networks to build their business, Heidi's business is networking. She's probably the best example of networking I've ever read about personally. Uh, she held networking parties at her house, and she had a rule of thumb that each person she invited would know about half the people, uh, the other people she invited. So they'd be familiar with the guests, but at the same time, they'd have the opportunity to meet new people as well. After this, she became a venture capitalist for SoftBank, and she spent about half her time looking for new investments and half working with existing clients. And she's very efficient with her network throughout her career. Uh, one of the articles brought up Paul Revere, and a lot of people don't know this, but when you think of Paul Revere's Midnight Ride, you always think of Paul Revere. But there was actually another rider named William Dawes who went to go spread the word that the Redcoats were coming. But Paul Revere was so good with his network that he was able to spread the word much more efficiently, and that's why he's known today, not William Dawes' Midnight Ride. Uh, she formed very close ties with people who were the nuclei of other networks, and this allowed her to tap into other networks if needed. Uh, the case actually worded as a constellation of networks. In Adam Grant's Give and Take book, the most successful and the least successful people tend to be givers, as opposed to takers or matchers. And as Grant discusses, givers have a tendency to burn out more often if they can't limit their giving. Uh, and Heidi's a perfect example of this because she left Apple because she was burnt out. Even with full-time assistance, she couldn't keep up with the incoming demands. And as a successful giver, she was comfortable picking up the phone when she was at Apple to reach out to her contacts. Some of these contacts she hasn't, hadn't even talked to for several years. She helped people she liked and respected to find new career opportunities. She helped people through her dinner parties to make new connections. And as a successful giver, she was able to avoid being a doormat, which is hard for the less successful givers to do. She only leveraged her extent social network if it would be a benefit to both parties involved. And she was careful how many times she would ask her contacts for assistance. The persuasion article in the Harvard course pack goes over principles persuasive people have. Heidi Roizen is an example of several of these principles. The first one is liking. She's a very likable person. She takes the time to interact with lesser known industry figures. As the case said, 
her willingness to invest time in developing relationships with people whom she found interesting and smart, as opposed to powerful, paid off repeatedly throughout the years. Oftentimes, these lesser-known people ended up evolving into the more well-known figures in the tech industry, in her example. Her friendly personality let her interact with people everywhere, including while working out at the gym, or when she was picking her children up from school. Uh, she was constantly having interactions and expanding her social network. Uh, she has an open-door policy. Friends often stop by at her house with little or no warning. They just kind of show up. She's very friendly like that. The next principle is reciprocity. And Heidi said this perfectly herself. She said, there has to be a balance in every relationship. You can't always be the person asking for the favor, but at the same time, you can't spend your entire day doing goodwill for others either. It has to go both ways. The next principle is consistency. And she definitely understands the importance of consistency because, once again, she has an awesome quote for it. She says, consistency means that in each interaction with that person you are consistent in your actions. It's important that people understand how you're going to respond with some consistency. If someone is not consistent, it makes it very hard to have a relationship with them. If a relationship is built on performance and consistency, you can actually get by with fewer interactions and still maintain a very good relationship. And another principle of persuasion is authority. And her expertise is well known uh, because throughout her career and being in the leadership positions on various industry boards and companies, she has shown to be an expert. 